Hey guys and welcome to How to Gastro. So in today's video we'll be discussing what is a lipase blood test. So let's get started. So before we get into the specifics of the lipase blood test itself, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect when your doctor orders this blood test for you. So a lipase blood test is a simple test that can be done at your closest laboratory or hospital. No special preparation is needed for a lipase blood test, which means you don't have to fast so you can eat and drink as usual before the test. During the test, a blood sample will be collected from you, which means a needle will be inserted into a vein, usually in your arm, to draw out some blood into a gold top or SST blood tube. This blood tube is then sent off to the laboratory where it is analyzed and resulted. So what is lipase? So lipase is an enzyme that plays a crucial role in the digestion and metabolism of fats in the body. It is produced primarily in the pancreas, but also in smaller amounts by the stomach and the mouth, specifically in the saliva. So lipase works by breaking down dietary fats into smaller molecules called fatty acids and glycerol, which can then be absorbed by the intestines and used by the body for energy or to store for future use. So there are different types of lipases in the body and they include pancreatic lipase. This is the most important lipase for digestion of dietary fats and is secreted by the pancreas into the small intestine where it helps to break down triglycerides into free fatty acids and to monoglycerides as well. We then have hepatic lipase, and this lipase is produced by the liver. And the enzyme here is involved in the metabolism of lipoproteins, which transports fats in the bloodstream. We then have lipoprotein lipase, which is found on the walls of the blood vessels. And this enzyme breaks down triglycerides carried by lipoproteins in the blood, making fatty acids available to tissues such as the muscle and the fat. And finally, we have gastric lipase, which is produced in the stomach and starts the process of fat digestion, especially in infants, where milk fat is a significant part of the diet. So from this definition of lipase, we understand that it's an enzyme that plays an important role in the digestion and the metabolism of fats that we intake through our diet. So lipase works by breaking down complex fats into smaller molecules which the body can then use for energy or to store for future use. So there are four main types of lipases and they all have different functions, but the most important and most abundant one is pancreatic lipase, followed by the three other types of lipases, which include hepatic lipase, lipoprotein lipase, and gastric lipase. So now that we know what lipase is all about, let's take a closer look at what is the lipase blood test. So a lipase blood test is a diagnostic test that measures the level of the lipase enzyme in your blood. The test is primarily used to assess the health of the pancreas and to diagnose conditions related to it, particularly acute pancreatitis, which is an inflammatory process occurring in the pancreas. So what is the normal range of lipase in the blood report? So the normal range of lipase levels in the blood is 10 to 140 units per liter of blood. So this is the normal range in healthy adults, 10 to 140 units per liter. So now let's talk a little bit about abnormally high lipase levels and what it means when this happens on your blood report. So abnormally high lipase levels in the blood can be indicative of several medical conditions, primarily related to the pancreatic health. So here are some common conditions associated with elevated lipase levels. So coming in at number one, we have acute pancreatitis. So sudden inflammation of the pancreas leads to significantly elevated lipase levels, often more than three times the upper limit of the normal range. 
Coming in at number two, we have chronic pancreatitis. So this is long-term inflammation of the pancreas that leads to permanent damage within the organ. So here, lipase levels may not be as high as in acute pancreatitis, but may still be elevated. At number three, we have pancreatic cancer. So these are malignant growths in the pancreas, which can cause elevated lipase levels, depending on the stage and the spread of the cancer. So continuing with causes for abnormally high lipase levels. At number four, we have gallbladder disease or cholecystitis. So this is the inflammatory process of the gallbladder itself, often due to gallstones. And this can also raise lipase levels, especially if there's a complication like a blockage affecting the pancreas. At number five, we have kidney failure. So reduced kidney function leads to decreased clearance of lipase from the blood which can lead to the accumulation of the enzyme in the blood, thereby raising the lipase levels. At number six, we have a bowel obstruction. So a blockage in the intestines may cause elevated lipase levels as a secondary effect of complications related to the obstruction. And finally, at number seven, we have peptic ulcers. So erosions that develop in the lining of the stomach, small intestine or esophagus, may cause elevated lipase levels, especially if there's a complication involving the pancreas. So now that we've explored all the reasons for abnormally high blood lipase levels, let's take a closer look at what are the causes for abnormally low lipase levels. So abnormally low lipase levels are less common, but can still provide important information about pancreatic health. So here are some potential causes and implications of low lipase levels. So coming in at number one here, we have chronic pancreatitis. So this is long-term inflammation of the pancreas, which can lead to significant damage and loss of the pancreatic tissue, meaning insufficient amounts of lipase can be produced, resulting in low levels in the blood. At number two, we have pancreatic insufficiency. So this is a condition where the pancreas does not produce enough digestive enzymes, including lipase. At number three, we have cystic fibrosis. So this is a genetic disorder that affects the lungs and the digestive system, leading to thick mucus buildup that can damage the pancreas. And this damage to the pancreatic tissue leads to poor lipase production. At number four, we have pancreatic cancer. So malignancy occurring within the pancreas can sometimes lead to reduced enzyme production if the pancreatic tissue is severely affected. At number five, we have a total pancreatectomy. So this is the surgical removal of the entire pancreas, which will cause significantly low or undetectable lipase levels in the blood due to the complete absence of the pancreatic tissue. And finally, at number six, we can have severe acute pancreatitis. So in some cases of acute pancreatitis, the pancreas can become so damaged that its ability to produce lipase is significantly compromised. And so the take-home message. So as we have just seen, the lipase blood test is a critical tool in managing and diagnosing pancreatic disorders and disorders affecting the digestive system. It is especially useful in guiding treatment decisions, providing critical information on patient health, and monitoring disease progression. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might find this video beneficial. So if you want to encourage me to do even more, or to say thanks for all the free information you've received on my channel today, you can say thank you by buying me a coffee. So the link to buy me a coffee can be found in the description box below. Take care and have an awesome day further. Bye for now.